Welcome to Donna Cooking and in this week's video I will be making the vegetarian red curry. So come on with me in this video and let's get cooking. First things first, you have to go back and watch the video on how to make the red curry simmer sauce. It's very easy, but in order to make this recipe, we need to have at least half of that sauce. So go back and watch that and we'll get started. Convenience foods in this recipe makes it fly by really fast, but you can totally use any kind of fresh vegetable that you like. I use the frozen butternut squash but you can use a whole fresh one. I use canned garbanzo beans, you can use tofu. Feel free to use anything you want. And also make sure you're getting some rice going while we're making the recipe because that will be needed in the end that you'll serve it on and in a video card above or in the description box, I will put the link to my amazing baked rice in the oven. If you have an Instapot, you can get it done in four minutes. And as you know, a rice cooker works great too. Now I used garbanzo beans in this recipe and like I said you can use tofu and I'd like to show you guys this tofu press. You can use it ahead of time and press the tofu, get the liquid out and in the description box below the video I will put the link to this. Um, it works really good and that way you can check it out on Amazon. So you can salt and pepper it if you like and even add more of the Thai red curry paste. Um, it's just whatever your preference is. And I know I like things really spicy. Now, if your curry seems a little too thick, go ahead and you can just add a little more of your vegetable broth. Now I'm just gonna put the lid on and let it cook just a little bit and then we can serve it over rice. I hope you guys enjoyed learning how to make the red curry simmer sauce, the chicken red curry, and now the vegetarian red curry. So till next time, happy cooking. I will see you in the next video. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.